y'all welcome back to my channel i am back with another freaking video and before i get into this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up like comment share and subscribe and turn on your post notifications so you know when your girl have posted a new video and y'all in today's video i will be doing another sunday reset um i'm about to give in and clean my house and then i ordered groceries because i'm making some chili and some cornbread y'all never had that together but we're gonna try it out but they wanted chili and some cornbread. But instead of regular cornbread, I'm making Mexican cornbread. So I'll be including that in the vlog as well. So like I said, I'm about to clean my room and then I got to do laundry. I did most of my laundry from when I came back from out of town. But I still had a little laundry left over at home. So I'm about to strip my bed, wash my sheets and all that good stuff because it got stains in it. And yeah. So yeah, I'm about to clean up before my food get here and then i'm gonna prep it put it in my crock pot because i want my chili to cook in the crock pot i feel like it's gonna hit different if i put it in a slow cooker so yeah that's what i'm about to do so come on you guys watch me clean in my room so we got food that we had this morning and what bay ate last night because he greedy he ate after our date Plus, I got these dirty dishes right here. So I'm going to clean these and then clean my stove because it's dirty. And I got a little pasta left that I made the other night. Baby and Molly up in it. He ate some this morning.
I use this board right here to plan out what I'm making each day so I won't be stuck on knowing, not knowing what I want to eat. So this is what I do. So this is what I'm about to do. This is my menu for this week. So I have a theme each week. So Sunday is Soul Food Sunday. So for today's Soul Food Sunday, I'm doing chili and Mexican cornbread. And then I'm eating it leftover tomorrow because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have a lot of chili left. And then Tuesday, I am making crunchy taco hamburger helper. And then Wednesday, I'm doing honey hot wings and fries. Because it's Wing Wednesday, Tuesday is Taco Tuesday. Anything Mexican, I do on Tuesdays. Wednesday is usually wing. I make different wings each Wednesday with fries, of course. Thursday is uh, TikTok Thursday, but sometimes I just do whatever I want. So this Thursday, I'm making chopped cheese and fries, which is a New York dish. And then Friday, I'm doing fried pork chops and cheddar broccoli spiral pasta. And then Saturday, I am doing oxtails, rice, and cabbage. Mind you, Friday is fried food Friday or either finger food Friday. And then Saturday is um, soul food. Not soul food. Saturday is either seafood Saturday or slow cooker Saturday. So this Saturday, I will be doing my slow cooker. So yeah, this is my meal for this week. And yes, I cook seven days a week with no kids. But I do got a man and he likes to eat, so yeah. So y'all, all of my groceries have came. About to start prepping it. So y'all, this is all the stuff that I use to make my chili. I got my mild chili seasoning, then I got my ground beef, and then I use minced garlic and onion, sauteed it with my meat. And then I got chili beans, the mild kind, and then I got dark red kidney beans. You can also use light red, it really doesn't matter. And then I use mild green chilies, diced tomatoes. Make sure y'all get the hunts. And then I got the fire roasted diced tomatoes. And then I have tomato paste and beef broth that just give it extra flavor. And I'm gonna show you what I season it with in a second. But these ingredients right here is for my Mexican cornbread. If y'all ain't never had it, then thank you later. But I'm gonna use chopped cheddar cheese. I'm gonna uh, cut your jalapenos up, cream corn, and then I got the honey jiffy mix. Gonna need some milk and gonna need one egg. So yeah, I'm about to get started with my chili. I'm gonna cook this later because it's not gonna take that long. But I'm putting this in the crock pot. So yeah. I wish I had cayenne, y'all, but I ain't got no cayenne, so I'm going to add a little taste of chili powder. Then I got my garlic powder, suzon, pepper, adobo, onion powder, which I'm low. Like, I only got a little taste of it. And then my Creole season, I add this literally to everything. Tony, stack me later. You can use this or you can use slap your mama. But anyways, I'm about to add this, all these seasonings to my meat mix, to my meat. And then, yeah, so make sure y'all season y'all meat. So let's get started. So y'all, y'all gonna add y'all meat, y'all, not y'all meat, but y'all beans to a strainer. Cause we're not gonna use the juice. So I did my, my dark red beans. So now I'm about to do my chili beans. We're gonna add And your beans should look like this. All clean. Yeah, I got my meat browning. So while this browning, I'm about to add all the rest of my ingredients for my chili in my cooker. So I already 
I already added my beans, so now I'm about to add my meat and onion to the mix. Got that in there. So now I'm about to add my fire roasted diced tomatoes. And then I'm gonna add half of a can of the diced, regular diced tomatoes. about enough and then I'm gonna add my green chilies and I would eat now I'm about to add my full can of tomato paste so next I'm gonna do three cups of my beef broth now I'm about to put in my mild chili seasoning and then after this you're gonna put in another one and then you're gonna add in like a half a tablespoon of sugar. I don't know who said you don't put sugar in, in your chili, but I do because it get rid of that bitter tomato taste, so yeah. And then that's it. Y'all, I done added everything to the crock pot, so now I'm about to let this boil and cook, and this should be done in the next hour or two. I got it on high, by the way. Now y'all, I done cleaned up my house, I done organized my meals for this week, so now I'm about to shower and throw on some chill type clothes, cause today is a chill day. Usually Sundays is a chill day for me. I go to church, I come home, cook dinner, eat Sunday dinner, and then I chill and watch TV for the rest of the day. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do. So you guys, I am at the shower, so now I'm about to finish cooking dinner. I'm about to start my cornbread, cause my chili been in the crock pot for about three hours. Yeah, three hours. No, two hours. I forgot. I need to set, set that, that time because y'all know time went back today. But anyways, so I'm about to make my Mexican cornbread. You need jalapenos, cream style corn. I use the honey jiffy mix, but you can use the regular. Sharp cheddar cheese, egg, and I got to get my milk out the refrigerator. And that's all the ingredients that you're going to need for your cornbread. So y'all got this all mixed up. I'm about to add this to my muffin pan and then I'm gonna put them in the oven. Y'all don't mind how it spilled up on the side and the brown, but my muffins are done. Don't they look so good? And then my chili is ready. Yes. Yes, Lord, it's time to eat. Y'all see it? Let me stir it up for you guys. Yes. Full of flavor. Yeah. It's time to eat now. Up, y'all. So I'm done cooking. I'm about to relax, chill, edit this video. Probably find me a movie to watch until my man get back. So I'll see you guys next video. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and turn your post notifications so you know when you get post a new video. And I'll see you guys next video. By the way, my chili 10 out of 10, baby, busting. It slaps every time. It's so spicy, just how I like it. It's so good. And I never thought to eat cornbread in my chilies, but beta put me on. I definitely like it. 10 out of 10. But definitely make Mexican cornbread instead of regular cornbread. But I'll see you guys next video. Peace. Please, please, please.